Hi YouTubers, welcome to a beautiful, stunning, sunny day in Cape Town where the radiation is pouring from the sky. So today's sustainable energy video is about transparency and trying to find a few tools of how to keep an eye on your energy level consumption, uh, the state of the grid and the state of your batteries. One of the things about uh, a solar system is it's a victim of its own success. So you don't really know when your system is on, you don't really know what the state of charge of your batteries are, it just kind of works in the background, which is the objective. But in a country like South Africa, where we've had 15 years of load shedding or controlled rolling blackouts as they are better known elsewhere, uh, we have a problem in that we don't know when the power is actually on and when our batteries are being charged from the grid or topped up from the grid or whether our batteries are critically low and about to fall over and we need to conserve energy for internet and other critical loads. So today's uh, video is about sharing some tools that I've come up with uh, in the hope that the community will come up with some alternatives uh, and let's uh, get underway. So one of the advantages of the Victron GX is that uh, you get a little display over here and it's pretty handy for looking at uh, state of charge, uh, power yield etc. Uh, and of course uh, MPPTs with your bulk absorption always quite handy. But obviously these things are located in garages, galleries, not generally in your kitchen when you're making tea in the morning. Of course batteries are always so handy, and I'm a great analog fan, having a couple of LEDs to show you the state of charge is really handy. One of the other things that I've been using over the years is an effigy energy meter. This is uh, one of their latest ones that's actually got quite a nice color display. And the great thing about this is you can pre-program it to set the amount of power or set a voltage or power uh, sorry not voltage a current um, draw limit uh, and a kind of alarm so you get some idea where you're using um, all of the capacity of your um, inverter before it actually bombs out so i'll take you through some of the setups and uh, some of the other tools that i've created some of the little relays and leds that i've been playing around with to, to try and make things like alarm systems, uh, various other things visible. So you've probably seen my previous videos where you've, I've discussed the Sonoff products. So I have a small Sonoff uh, Mini connected to my inverter, which means that I can pick up uh, through relay assistant different states of charge, battery low, critical low, uh, and move those out to other devices. Um, on the effigy, I've put the meter onto the feed from the inverter so I'm measuring critical loads being serviced by the inverter and that's how I'm able to pre-program it to its uh, 5 kVA or sorry uh, 5 VA 5, 000, about 4,200 uh, 4,500 kilowatts depending on uh, power factor um, you can program it into effigy meter set it as a limiter and then put this up in your kitchen next to your toaster so that you can see in the morning when you're about to break the system or not Okay, so here's the effigy meter programmed at 5 kilowatts uh, maximum, currently using 1.6 kilowatts and uh, today's consumption. Pop the kettle on, uh, upon, sorry about the noise, but you'll see uh, how much latency it, it takes for the kettle to be registered. So kettle's on now, and I can hear the fan on the inverter in the background, and there we go, 3 kilowatts uh, being drawn. So the bar graph also is at uh, two thirds, and if I put the toaster on, you'll see it'll jump up to uh, four and a bit kilowatts, about a three, five second delay, and eventually this will go orange, pop the microwave on, you see the alarm is now set at four and a half kilowatts, and um, we're starting to see energy reaching its maximum consumption. So the oven clock is a useful tool for monitoring whether you've got grid or not. Uh, most South African homes don't bother setting these clocks anymore because we have power goes off three times a day forever trying to program your clock. But of course, like most ovens, you have to actually have the time set to be able to put the oven on. So you just press two buttons and click it onto any old reading. 
just to get the thing working. So of course, so of course, I hear a lot of you saying, "Well, why don't you just get a color Victron color display, um, GX uh, color display?" Well, the problem is that my inverter is like ten meters away from where I really want the information. So um, I have an, uh, a BMV here, which are pre-programmed for critical load battery, uh, and it beeps. Very useful, but a bit over the top having to install a shunt just to see the state of charge of your battery. I think we uh, kind of are after a more simplified version just for a general indication, um, in my opinion. Anyway, if you have any other bright ideas about how to get state of charge uh, displayed cheaply and easily and conveniently, obviously we have the Victron VRM app in their widgets. But you don't always want to put the widget on just to boil the kettle in the morning when you don't know whether your battery is at 5% after 6 hours of load shedding. So please let me know your comments and uh, ideas. Always uh, keen to uh, share information, always keen to learn. Uh, thanks again for all the thumbs up and all the likes. Uh, encouragement to keep sharing information. And uh, shout out to the Victor Energy uh, training team in Cape Town this week. Uh, great training, Gerard uh, and the team. Thanks guys, I always appreciate uh, sharing knowledge and uh, I look forward to doing the upcoming uh, EV charger, the Victron EV charger. Uh, I'll do a review uh, alongside uh, the Zappi uh, charger that I've featured in uh, previous videos.